Pete is a desert locust. He has travelled all the way from North Africa to visit the sunny, wind-swept and culturally rich north coast of Northern Ireland. Pete's real name is Shustasisarigarius, but that's too complicated, so for the sake of this documentary, we will refer to him as Pete. This is Pete. Join him as he journeys round Northern Ireland. Welcome to the North Coast. After the long flight from North Africa, Pete was exhausted so he decided to rent a car in order to travel around. Pete's first destination is Bushmills Distillery. Pete is very fond of Bushmills whiskey and decided to give the sign a hug. Pete was still tired from his flight so required some extra assistance to reach the distillery. After three hours, Pete reached the entrance, but unfortunately Bushmills operate a zero-tolerance policy towards locusts. Having saved some peanuts from his flight, Pete was not best pleased when he observed another locust, what the odds of that, attempting to steal his peanuts from his car. After a short verbal fight, Pete obliterated his foe. A short while later, Pete was en route to his next destination, the world famous Giant's Causeway. Unfortunately, Pete was again denied access to a North Coast attraction due to a zero tolerance policy towards North African locusts. Annoyed, Pete decided to ascend one of the numerous mighty oaks that surround the causeway to get a glimpse of the 40,000 interlocking basalt columns as a result of an ancient volcanic eruption located at County Antrim. Atop the mighty oak, he was faced with a hurricane force wind, the likes of which he had never seen before. Hanging on for dear life, Pete was thinking about absolutely nothing since insects don't think. Battered, bruised and racially insulted, Pete decided to visit Dunluce Castle. The castle, or bits of castle, are said to be haunted. The castle lay in ruins due to a devastating turn of the millennium, year 2000, battle between moths and locusts where casualties exceeded six and included three moths, four locusts, five spiders and, weirdly, a pig. These are the stairs of Buck de la Farce, named after the heroic general of the locust army. The spirits of the moth army often throws rocks at passing North African locusts. Pete's car was demolished by falling rocks. He had to resort to the fantastic <coughs> service of TransLink. TransLink are a bunch of f spent all your f buses and f trains. This magnificent beast was slain and placed here on Port Stuart Strand by King Henry V as a memorial for all of the sea critters that were accidentally killed by his boat. Shenanigans. They'll let anyone out. Amazed by the very cheap prices in shenanigans, and in the Yuletide spirit, Pete decided to follow the North Star back to his native homeland. However, he didn't realise he was drunk and looking at a Christmas tree. Pete decided to survey the neighbouring coastline to gaze upon the Musandon Temple. However, he only had 10p change, and it was night. Drunk and antisocial Pete stole a bicycle and arranged a date with his old Bushmills peanut enemy on the Port Stewart Strand. Pete and his friend were happy to be reunited and the peanut incident forgotten. They both mutually agreed the north coast of Northern Ireland was best suited to humans. 